Hey y'all, it's Rita May June and I'm coming on today to share how I prep my hair before I blow dry or flat iron my hair or any kind of heat rather. So I like to deep condition first before I blow dry or flat iron. I'm um, especially flat iron because sometimes the deep conditioners can be heavy and I like my flat iron hair to be light and fluffy. So today I use the Shea Moisture Smooth and Repair Nourish Hair Mask. My first time using it, it left my hair feeling really, really great. Um, it is a um, product that has um, keratin in it and helps with frizz and everything like that. So I think this would be a great product for flat iron and, and blow drying and stuff. So I deep condition with this first for about an hour. And then I clarified my hair. I used the Dr. Bronner's Miracle Soap, the Pure Cast Iron Soap. Well, I keep saying Miracle Soap, <laughs> Magic Soap. Pure cast iron soap and peppermint. I use that one time to clarify my hair. Um, I think it's great to clarify your hair before you put any heat on it. That way you won't be, be blow drying and infusing dirt into your hair. After I clarified my hair, I went in with the Shea Moisture and Tip of Hydrating Shampoo. Anytime I clarify my hair, I like to go back in and hydrate my hair with some kind of hydration. And I like to use a shampoo. So after I shampoo my hair, I put it up in a t-shirt for about 15 minutes. And then I let it air dry for an additional about 15 minutes. And then um, I went in each twist and added in some leave-in conditioner. I added in the Karen Body Beauty Beautiful Sweet Ambrosia Leave-In Conditioner. Um, I really like this conditioner when blow drying and flat ironing because it's very, very light. So I chose this conditioner to use. Um, then I detangled my hair with a paddle brush. And then I added in my heat protective serum. I like to use a serum along with a spray. But I like to add in my serum before I flat out my hair. And I use the Mazzani Thermal Smooth. Yeah, Thermal Smooth Guard Serum. I use about four pumps per twist. And then I made sure it was evenly distributed. And the next thing I will be doing is blow drying my hair twist by twist. I will be using my Yellow Bird Blow Dryer by Carnair Pro. Um, this blow dryer is the bomb, you guys. Like, yeah. So I'll be using it on high heat and, um, I mean, high speed and low heat. I will be using the pick to blow dry my hair because I would like to get smooth results. And I get smoother results whenever I use the pick to blow dry my hair. Um, before I flat on my hair, I will be spraying my hair with the Vidal Sassoon um, Spray Heat Protective and Shine. I use this product right here whenever I diffuse my hair and I really, really like it. So I will be using this before I um, flat on my hair. So once I finish, like say, um, blow drying these twists, I'll just spray this area so that way it won't be wet when I go to flat iron. That's why sometimes you hear that when people flat iron your hair, it's because the, the um, heat protectant is still damp. And that can also cause damage to your hair because it's, you know, that's, you know, it's too wet. You don't supposed to put any heat on wet hair. So once I put, once I finish blow drying this section, I will put in my heat protectant. That way it can kind of settle in and won't be wet and things like that. The flat iron I'm using is by Belson Pro. It's a digital flat iron and I will be flat ironing my hair on 410 degrees. So I am going to share a demo of how I flat iron my hair. I'm also going to be trimming my ends. So stay tuned for that video. And if you have any questions or anything, leave it down below. And I will talk to y'all later. Alright, bye.